Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at the Orca Torch D630 which is a brand new canister light from Orca Torch. Well finally we have something a little bit bigger again on the channel. We're gonna make a little bit of an unboxing, we're gonna take a look at some of the light features, battery, charger, what modes it offers us of course, we're gonna also take a look at the actual Goodman handle and after that we'll jump into the water. Well, if you're thinking about buying a light and watching a review, I guess you definitely want to see how it works in the environment where you will be using it. So some underwater footage will be included. And after that, a little bit of a pros and cons. So let's get the video started. All right, guys, so as you already can see, the box, the packaging is very nicely made. We have a beautiful illustration of the actual product which is inside we have some of the key features and in the back we have a nice specs table here we already can see the light offers us three modes we have a 4000 lumen high mode with a runtime of up to five hours this is quite true i have the light for five dives in a row actually after a few days all the dive on and high mode and it was still quite a lot of power left so it just turned red the power indicator so we have definitely four to five hours of runtime at least we have a middle mode with a thousand and five hundred lumens a good seven hours of runtime and the low mode with about 400 just a little bit over 400 lumens will offer us offer us almost one day of runtime almost 400 hours which is quite realistic with the size of the battery we have here we have a waterproofness or a depth rating of 150 meters and just for you to tell you now the actual cable length it's not specified here it's not specified on their website but it's exactly 1.2 meters so the cable of the canister light the actual cable connecting the two is 1.2 meters long Opening the package, we have a very nice setup. You can see it looks beautiful, nicely arranged. We have a nice keychain from Orca Torch. I'm not sure if this is included in every package. Definitely, I guess, from Amazon. But this is a very nice thing. And, well, I actually like to use it. I'm a big fan of Orca Torch. I use a lot of those lights. Beautiful thing. Thanks a lot for sending and adding this to the normal packaging. In here we have, and let's start not by the light, let's start by the accessories, a charger. It's so well sitting in here, it's difficult to get out. You're gonna get the power lead, which will be, of course, according to your country. I have the EU, UK, US, whatever you are living in, they will send you the fitting one or the one which is right for you. We have an output of 8.4 volts and 4 amps on this charger we have here. And we have, of course, a range of 100 to 250. 40 volts of input 50 or 60 Hertz. So this will work all around the globe for you nice charger Also with a power indicator with a red and a green LED Let's put the charger back in I find it looks the best nicely and organized in here We have a little bit of a lanyard included the lanyard comes actually Very handy if you want to use or use it as a sun or a system to actually put a ball stem for example onto the light you actually can use the rope just cut it open and use the rope I'm not sure if some of you will use a lanyard but I think most of us are not going to use a lanyard on a canister light so you can use part of the rope under the actual silicon we could say tubing there is a, kno a knot you can open a knot and you have quite a long piece of usable um, wire or in this case cable which you can use under the actual head light we will take a look at last we have a spare set of o-rings so this is very handy of course for your canister o-rings this is the only open nibble part of the light spare set of o-rings we have a spare silicon rubber piece in orange of course for your head this is quite handy on the one on my d620 actually broke after quite a long time i also also a bit my fault but of course if it happens that it breaks it's under some tension you have a spare one so that's quite a nice thing for, thing for them and this actually protects the light quite well when you're laying it down you have a nice user manual included and of course a warranty card if you're buying a light for the first time definitely take a look at the user manual or else also for this slide we have a nice explanation mainly about the battery pack and using the actual Goodman handle so definitely take a read through it in the bottom we have one tool and this tool along with two spare um, sets or spare screws is very handy because this tool is used not only to screw in or on the Goodman handle to your light head with also the screws 
which are here in case these ones get lost or get untied and then you lose the screws you can actually use this as a spare screw so you have the fitting ones but with this tool you can also change the wideness of your Goodman handle changing the hose you are using and changing opening and closing the screws you can actually put the Goodman handle even a bit narrower or even open it up to about this size so if you really have a big hand or you need a big Goodman handle you can adjust this in width and the height of the Goodman handle we're gonna take a look now this is something I like it's actually the same Goodman handle as on the D620 from Orca Torch and on this one we have a nice screw which you can open by hand also underwater of course and you can change change the actual we could say in the well first of all the direction of the Goodman handle you can put it like this for an easier transportation to protect the light head and like this it's a lot smaller without having to take off the actual Goodman handle and for diving you open it gets a lot bulkier but it's nice to dive and underwater like this you can adjust the height or in other words the size of the Goodman handle the spacing you have between them I have quite a small hand, I don't use gloves, so I will always put it on the smallest setting. Like this we have closed it, there is some salt already remaining, of course the light has been diving. I always dive it and test it a few times before giving you the kind of review, so you can actually see it's still wet and salty, but this is the way you can adjust it nicely. Like this is the best way or the way I recommend you to have the Goodman handle just a bit wider than the actual part where the light is sitting on because like this you can put it a bit further down if this one is too narrow the light won't or the actual top plate won't go in to the spacing as you can see here and the actual Goodman handle won't close that far so this might be a problem if you don't have this well wide enough this one is not going to come down as far as you might need it the head itself is very small very beautiful looking I like the look of it it looks simple looks nice we have a nice switch the switch has a locking mechanism so like this we cannot accidentally switch it on we have to unlock the whole thing just turn it 90 degrees to the left and then we can press the switch we have a very nice spotty output the light is so strong that the camera can't even or doesn't really show the spot but the spot is just this Big, the actual hotspot you can see of course it's quite big also for the night that you have a nice spill around but the light is quite strong if I go down a bit on brightness these were the three modes so we have a high mode 4000 lumens we have a thousand five hundred lumens maybe also two thousand ish lumens on a middle mode and a low mode with around 450 to 500 lumens so you can choose which one you prefer the most something else also like a lot on this light compared to the d620 is the power indicator we have a power indicator on the head which will let us know and which where we will, will be able during the dive in the water make sure we still have enough battery in the battery pack this indicator will stay green until well now it just turned red very good to know but this indicator usually turns red after around 30 to 40 percent of battery power so you have still a lot of time to maybe regulate the light down if you need it for a long time and after 10 percent it will start to flash red indicating slowly but surely it's gonna shut off and yes this light has a protection an under or overcharge protection actually in the battery pack so you don't have to worry of over discharging your batteries in the front we have a beautiful looking reflect and just look at this. I like it a lot when the LEDs reflect completely and the, and the reflector is full of yellow. This means the LED and the reflector are made well for each other and you will have a very nice throw of light. We have 5 Cree XPLs in the front. This is the high version of the high E for high intensity. This means the LED does not come with a dome from factory so it's a, actually like a de-domed LED and like this you have even more of a throw ability. So these LEDs are actually known with the same reflector they offer us even a better spot in this case we have a light offering is offering us a seven degree spot so this is actually quite good and a very nice spotty light for the 4000 lumens it offers us we have a nice as I already said a rubber band in this case it is of course an orange typical for the orca torch ones and it actually protects it quite well if you're not using the Goodman handle if you're laying it down it will usually lay on the actual rubber at least in most cases and already protect a little bit the appearance of the light and maybe not scratch it that fast 
In case you do not like to use this Goodman handle, you want to use one of your own or any other kind of rubber system, whatever you're using, I don't mind, everyone, everyone has its own likes and dislikes. We have a nice big option of also fixing some kind of mounting system or some kind of cable, some kind of wire to pass through the actual back here to hold the light and then add a bolt snap or add some other kind of mounting system. So this option is also here if you don't like the Goodman handle. As I already said, the actual cable we have here is 1.2 meters long or 120 centimeters long and this is about from half the protection of the actual the cable gland from one to another. If you take from the actual body of the battery canister until the bat the body of the actual light head we have about 126 127 centimeters so it's a bit longer than 1.2 meters if you're measuring from body to body the canister light on the other hand is the actual new thing about the light we have a wonderfully and beautifully designed canister it's nothing difficult to do yes but you need to know how to do it and here on top and this is the most nice and the most important thing on the slide is the actual system that you can use your cable or have your cable coming out at a 90 degree angle as it is now or you can change it to a 180 degree angle very easy and very simply and like this you have a battery canister which will serve for almost every or actually every kind of mounting way of mounting system or whatever system you're diving if you're diving single tank dual tank side mount whatever you're diving you can always somehow get it right because you can either even change the side where this holder is by just slightly opening the actual well these ties this is some this is kind of a metal ring tie you can open them slightly and move it around just make sure when you're closing them to close them properly but also don't over tighten them do not damage the mechanism in here and you can also work it close together with the one on the top so you can mount it in so many different ways that it's actually perfect and usable for every kind of system you are using. I personally actually like the lights going out at a 90 degree angle and as most lights on the market go out at 180 it's not that nice. I personally like to use it on my dear system on my dear harness from my backplate system and like this using it on the actual harness it goes downward and it's out of the way if it would go up it's always somehow in my belly or chest area annoying me the cable so like this it's quite nice you can mount it in the back in the front wherever you want to mount the actual canister opening the canister we have a beautiful alignment of three o-rings coming out and you can already see them I personally love it when it looks like this. You have a clean looking o-ring, clean looking thread and mainly if you take a look at the other side of this, this is what really amazes me. You can have, you have nice four spring loaded contacts, it looks clean, it looks simple and I just like it, it's just beautiful to look at it. So very simply and easy made, nothing to get actually damaged, it's very simply and easy working. On the other side we have not only a simple canister part but we have a battery pack which you can screw and take out of the canister. So like this you can actually replace the actual battery pack if you need to for even more runtime or after this has actually done a few years you might need a new one because the capacity is dropping because the batteries are getting old over time but something i really enjoy on this is the actual top part we have a nice separation in between the two poles looking very nice beautiful we have a nice power indicator system which will indicate us the power remaining in the actual battery and we of course have a dc plug input for our charger the 7.4 volts is the nominal voltage of the pack there are four parallel cells inside and two serial and the two serial connections and we have 18 uh, sorry eight 18650 batteries inside eight of these in a simple four and four arrangement and they give us a capacity of 3000 milliamp hours each battery so we get to in this case 12 
1000 milliamp hours or 12 ampere hours at 8.4 volts full e-charge. So that's actually quite a big pack for the size of it. On the other hand, or on the other side, we have a USB output and you can actually charge your phone by this. So you cannot, or you can not only use this pack as a battery pack for the torch, but also as a power bank if you're on the go and you have a very long runtime on this. I guess you can at least charge your iPhone, for example, or your phone four, five, six times out of this because it has a very high capacity. It has 89 watt hours. If you make your calculations, a typical small power bank, let's just make the calculations by 18650s. A small power bank has maybe one up to three 18650s. These usual power banks you have around, this one has eight of them. So you can charge your phone up a few more times than with a simple power bank. So this is quite good. If you're on the go, take it with you and you have a lot of power sparing. Good. Let's put it back into the actual light. And while I do this, I would say let's jump underwater and let's check out on how the D630 canister light from Oracle Torch performs in the actual underwater diving environment. Okay guys, so I hope you could get a better idea on how the Orca Torch D630 canister light performs underwater. And now let's do just a quick pros and cons. Pros, definitely on this light I like a lot the system of changing the cable output, the cable gland from 90 or 180 degrees, so this makes the light very flexible. And on top of that of course also not only having the option also to move the mounting system of the battery canister but also of actually opening the velcro and putting it over your dear harness for example on the older models for example i think on the d900 or 600 sorry and 610 if i'm not completely wrong they used to have a closed one so you had to open your harness completely put it open on one side to then pass it through and close it again on this one you can actually open it and put it over the harness to not having to untighten it on the other side but this depends on what you prefer makes it a lot more flexible like this the battery pack is very big has a very long runtime and mainly is also very flexible because you can use it as a power bank on the go with quite a long or a very high capacity the cable is just the right length it's an average length of a canister light 1.2 meters it's long enough to use it on your back the actual ca battery canister but it's also not too long so it's annoying if you're using the canister in the front and it's maybe a bit too long but you can put it away just put part of it away in between you and the canister like this and it won't be annoying anymore the head itself and this is something i like a lot the lock function on the actual head we have a nice power indicator and we have a beautiful spotty output of seven degrees on four thousand lumens and now a quick negative part and the cons on my side what i see as a negative thing on the slide is with this kind of led setup with this five leds we could get at least five thousand and five hundred to six thousand lumens of output so they could get a bit higher go a bit higher but then you would lose runtime and you would lose 
lose lifetime on the LEDs. So this is probably why they stayed with 4000 lumens. Another thing, although the Goodman handle is nice to turn compared to the Goodman handle they had before, to the smaller one, this one is very bulky and mainly very heavy. If you compare it to the D611's Goodman handle, this one is a lot heavier and a lot more bulkier. You can indeed change it, but this depends a lot on what you need actually. For me personally, I just find it a bit too heavy, but you can't love everything. Good. So much about the light. I hope you enjoyed the review in general. I hope you could get a better idea on how the D630 mainly performs underwater. This is always my main aim to give you the option of seeing how the light will perform in the environment where you will be using it. And of course, as usual, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any of the future videos. And as usual, dive safely and see you next time.